everyone, it's Kristen at Orpha Beatrice and today we're going to be making a 12 piece no sew memory game. I'm going to be using these fabrics here. My daughter is learning her colors, but what I love about this project is you can really make it for anybody on your gift list. So um, you could use heirloom um, fabrics from a deceased loved one, maybe their t-shirts if you have a bag of t-shirts and use little scraps for those. Um, you're only using a two by four square, so there's plenty of fabric to go around. You could make sets for everyone in your family. Or if you have a bunch of your kiddos onesies and you don't know what to do with them, it would be a great project to cut some of those up to make something that you could pass down to them that they could enjoy now and their kids could enjoy later. Um, you could do the colors like I'm doing or you can do this modern print. I made this 12 piece set. I'm actually planning to extend it to 24 so I can enjoy it with my nieces and nephews. They all range between uh, 5 and 11, so I think 24 pieces might be a little bit more fun for them. So let's talk materials. For this project, you're going to need a package of Heat and Bond Extra Hold, which is the red package. You're going to need two pieces of 9 by 12 felt. I always buy three in case um, any of my measurements go wrong. I always have a little bit extra, and it's really inexpensive. So. I'd recommend getting three, but you'll only actually need two. You'll need your six chosen fabrics. If you're going to make a larger set, like for 24, you would need 12, but for this project, we'll use six. You'll need an iron, and we're not using any steam today, a sharp pair of scissors, a pen, a ruler, and a scrap piece of paper. Okay, the first step we're gonna do is to prep our felt. I've got my heat bond. You wanna make sure you have the ultra hold, which is the red package. And when you take it out of the package, you can see it's got a glue side and then it also has a paper side. We are going to have the glue side down on the fabric, but right now we're just gonna measure it and cut it to size. Just lay your felt right on top usually coincides pretty well with the uh, little fold line, which is kind of nice. Make sure it's nice and straight. You want this as precise as you can get it because it does have glue and you're gonna iron. So, right, hold up these little pieces. Okay, so we are going to take the glue side and put the glue side down. And again, line it up as best as you can. I've got my iron on a medium heat and mine is on the polyester setting. So I'm just gonna run over this and you're going to set each part of it for about two seconds. So it doesn't need much time at all. And for the sake of time, I had already pre-cut the other one so that you guys don't have to watch me cut two. Okay, so we'll do this with the second one. It's important to let them cool. So while the other one's cooling, I'll do this one. It doesn't take very long, but you don't want to be trying to pull the paper off. When it's still hot. Get that corner a little. Perfect. All right, we've got our felt prepped. I'm going to um, pull the backing off of this. And this is a double stick. So when I pull this backing, you'll see that the glue stayed on. It's off the paper now. I've got a perfectly 
glued back. This isn't sticky. It doesn't get sticky until you heat it again, um, but it's a really nice way to get the whole surface evenly covered. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of measuring. Our squares are going, this is a nine by 12 piece of felt. Sometimes it's hard to get off here. Okay, this is a nine by 12 piece of felt. So in order to make them the squares perfectly square, I'm gonna do um, three by three squares. So we'll do one, two, three, one, two, three, four. To do that, I need my ruler. mark these little spots here three six do the same on this side three six This one looks like it's a little short of 12, but we'll make it work. Okay, so after I have all of the lines set, I'm just going to connect the points here. It's easiest to do this with a pen and light pressure. This is the back, so we'll never see these anyway. It'll just help you get a more precise. Okay, so we have both of our felt sheets measured in three by three squares. We have 12 of them on each, and we've marked them on the glue glued side that we used with the heat and bond. So you've got your other felt side on the other side. We're gonna put one aside. This is gonna be the back of the memory piece, so all we have to do is cut those out and it's ready. And we're gonna work on this side to create the squares. Since this is a three by three square, I like to do an inch and a half square in the center. That's why I put to get a scrap piece of paper. You can take a scrap piece of paper and measure out an inch and a half square. Um, the thicker, the better, so that it's not as flimsy. But then you can take that, eyeball it, where you want it to go, or perfectly measure it, however you prefer, and then do that. It'll make it go a little bit faster. See, this one isn't perfect either. It's just life, right? Okay. So I'll go through and draw all of these squares and then the fun part of cutting them out.
Okay, now that we've got all of our little squares cut out, I'm going to take two of the ones that I used and put them together, glue side together. And I'll show you why in just a second, but I'm going to press these five seconds on each side and use this as a little template. It's going to help us when we get to the ironing part with the fabrics. So we'll just press this one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Turn one, two, three, four, five. Awesome. You're not going to use the rest of those little scraps so you can toss them. Okay. I am going to cut out the three by three squares from both of these sheets. So now we've got all of our squares prepped and it's time to do the fabric. When I lay out my squares after I've cut everything out, I like to do the glue side facing up on all of the solid squares and then the glue side facing down on all of the frame pieces. Um, and that just helps me prep for how we put them together to make sure that in the heat of the moment when you're using your iron you don't accidentally go to glue the wrong side and end up with glue all over your iron because I have done that. Um, I took my fabric, um, I pre-cut these, but I use them from larger swatches. So you're going to take the six fabrics that you've chosen and we've got, I've got a frame piece here to kind of help explain it. Uh, this is the size of you want your fabric at least this size, which if you remember, we did it one and a half by one and a half. So I like to cut my fabrics um, at least two by two. That helps to make sure that we get enough fabric on the underneath, underneath the frame, so that no nothing's trying to peek out through there. So if you're a template gal or guy, um, you can make a template that's two by four that way when you go to cut it in half, you'll have both of your two coinciding pieces for your memory game. And so I went ahead and did that and then I'll just cut them in half. They'll end up being two by two. So this piece is four inches by two inches. And then I'm gonna take each of my fabrics and just fold them in half. This is the open side here. And I'm honestly just going to rely on the scissor to help me guide it. This is such a small piece, it's pretty easy to get it straight. And you're going to do that with each of your six fabrics, so you'll end up with 12 small pieces. I'd love if you guys would leave a comment below with what fabrics you're going to use, whether you're gonna do onesies or heirloom fabrics, maybe colors or patterns. It'd also be fun to see a picture of your finished pieces. Okay, so I've got my iron turned on again. It's on polyester setting or a medium setting for your iron. Remember, we're not using steam. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take one solid square and the glue is facing up. Move these over just so I can work here. And then I'll take a piece of any, any of the 12. Doesn't matter which one you do first, obviously. And then my little frame goes on top. This part you do want to be intentional and move slow. Um, you want to make sure that they're stacked really nicely. If you have a little bit of overlay on those, it's fine. We'll trim them at the end. We just want to trim them so that when they're face down, they all look the same. You don't want anyone being able to tell which one the yellow square is, for example, because it's a little wonky or off. So get them as put together as you can. And then we're using the piece that we uh, put together to go into the center. It's gonna create equal pressure for the iron to really get that yellow fabric down and adhered to the backing. So I just stick that little guy in and it's ready to iron. 
when you're doing the ironing for the final pieces, you're gonna do eight seconds on each side. Sometimes it sticks to the iron and I just have to knock it off a little bit, but if it does that, that's totally normal. All right. Save you guys the sound of me counting. I'm applying pretty, pretty substantial pressure. I mean, I'm not going crazy, but I'm not just laying it on there either. All right, and then I'm gonna move this out of the way. And there's our first piece. That's it, you're done. Thank you guys so much for crafting with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below letting me know which fabric you chose and why. See you next time.